Harley Reid. I just don't think West Coast will pick him. They're not going to pick him, Mitch. They're not going to pick him. He doesn't want to go there. He doesn't want to go there. So everything I said before about North Melbourne having to give up, they don't have to give up much for pick one, you know, Red Coast. They don't need pick one. They're going to get him at two. Mitch, I'm telling you, they're not going to pick him. Sammy boy, just quickly, mate. I haven't been reading the Western Australian for the last 40 days, but I did notice that Harley Reid's not in North Melbourne, Guernsey. Please explain. Did he say just quickly? He did. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was... It made it even better. Oh, go on. Look, I know you've been waiting to no, ask no. me about what, it. What's your, you respond to that before I start asking questions. Harley Reid is playing Coast in a West Coast Reed. jumper this season because the club wasn't savvy enough or creative enough to turn one pick into three inside the first round, which they clearly should have done. Um, they have now placed a large amount of pressure on the shoulders of Harley Reid, who Adam Simpson has publicly declared won't play every game this year and will play in a myriad of positions. Yeah. So clearly the coach is trying to lessen the burden on Harley. A lot of coaches do that with first-year players. Yeah, but they could have also just lessened the burden by taking three instead of one that could have played across a variety of positions. And I think West Coast are going to really struggle for the next three to five years. Personally, they may be that there is likely to be a change of coach in that time. Adam Simpson has been an unbelievable coach for that footy club, will always be remembered as a great coach, a premiership winning coach. I think we'll probably end up coaching somewhere else. West Coast have, um, for a long time, have had their head in the sand as to where their list was at. Mm -hmm. They reacted too late. Um, and I think they were too bloody-minded not to take Harley and to be creative with it. The list manager has since left. The whole club is in a state of of, of flux. They're rebuilding as, as a club. They've got a new CEO who has no experience as a CEO, who in fact was a, was a senior coach himself. Um, I don't like where West Coast are at. I really like Harley Reid. I don't know this, this whole sort of thing that we've had fun with is, has taken on its own, its own orbit. I met him last year. We talked about him. He's a great guy. I'm not going to call him a kid because he's an adult. Um, I think he's going to have a really good career. I hope he has a really good career. I think West Coast should have traded the pick. I cannot believe that they didn't. And so for all the West Coast you know, supporters, that's fine. I, I get why you want to be shitty with me, fully understand, but he should be playing in Melbourne. I agree. He should be playing in Melbourne had they have taken on the wider list management view. But the question everyone wants to know is how do you reflect on the comments of – the fact that he, they wouldn't take him. Well, I got it wrong. Yeah. Because they took him. Yeah. So I'll just put up, put up my hand and wear that one on the chin. That's that's fine. That's the game. This is what you and I do. I didn't think that they'd take him. I still cannot believe that they took him. Um, they should not have taken him. And let's see how it ages. Because I will guarantee you of one thing. If they finish bottom two for the next three years – where, where do you think the story is going to be? You get one chance at a career. One, not two. Mm. He's not going their, to list, their list is in a strange position given- Their list isn't in a strange position. Their list is awful. They've got a lot of money tied up in aging players. Yep. Name. Talk me through the, the players that are in their last or second last year. Jack Darling. One. Andrew Gaff. Two. Mitch McGo uh, Jeremy McGovern. Three. Three unbelievable players. Elite Yo's out of contract this year. Four. They lost Chewy. Yep. Lost Nick Nat. So there's, there's six of their best 12 of the last 10 years. Crips. Six of their best 12. Tim Kelly has one more to run after this. So, like, Mitch, what are we talking about? Yeah. Those guys, by the start of 2026, are not going to be on an AFL list. Who are they going to be replaced by? Who's the next wave coming through? Elijah Hewitt, Ruben Jinby, Harley Reid. And I. You've, okay, one of those guys hasn't played yet. <laughs> like, and they, they, had this, they had the chance the year before to go and get Sheasel or Wardlaw. And they did. And they split them. Yeah. So I was with you in the back half of last year that the most likely scenario all along was that they were going to do the same, but they took Harley. They see him as a generational player and let's see how it pans out for him. Yeah. And, you know, Adam Simpson has been nothing but supportive of him publicly, as I was mentioning. Adam Simpson's not going to be there for much longer. Mm. Is he? If he can reinvent himself, maybe, but he's had a couple of years to reinvent himself and hasn't been able to do so. But I don't think he should have to reinvent himself. He doesn't. He doesn't run the list. He doesn't put the list together. No, That's but his game style has the footy department. Uh, this is air raid sirens sort of stuff. But his possession style of footy hasn't ba has been out of work in the last couple of years. He hasn't had any players. You can only coach with, with what you have. Yeah, the fitness has broken They've down. They've all been injured mm. or getting towards the end, end of their careers. Like how long did they think that they were going to hold on to this stuff? You know, mm. Tim Kelly does, pings a hamstring and 
session one back of the summer. Like, you know, it's just getting bad, bad. Yeah, worse. they thought they could have one more crack. And look at Collingwood. They had Pendlebury side bottom and these guys, but they had the Dacos, they had the Quainers, they had the yeah, coming com- through. Com- they are different. Completely, but the, the top end completely age, different. The, demog- the age demographic of the top end is similar in a way, but they just didn't have – Yeah, but Collingwood saw the end of the tunnel. Collingwood saw the end of the tunnel. West Coast just ran straight into it. Yep. Not sure that's a great analogy, but that's what I'm going for. 